Hey, I'm Matt with CAD Dimensions. Our 3D printing fab lab has been running like crazy. We've been printing all sorts of parts from functional prototypes to validate designs and use plastic components and fixtures used in manufacturing. It's a little bit loud in there right now, so I wanted to step out here to our parts table and talk about these different technologies we can print in, and one in particular being the Origin One. We just got our Origin printer in recently. I've been printing all sorts of different parts with it, learning about it, testing out new materials. So I wanted to point out some of the key differences and key capabilities of this new technology. The Origin One is a DLP 3D printer. Now what that means is it uses a 4K projector to cure a vat of photopolymer resin. We have a lot of different printing technologies in our lab, such as FDM and PolyJet, but the main advantages of this technology is the high throughput, highly accurate parts, and a wide variety of end-use, high-performance materials. We're really excited about this new technology because it'll enable us to provide you with more solutions. From what we've been hearing from customers, especially now, it's becoming increasingly difficult to source quality plastic components. Lead times that used to be four to six weeks are now four to six months, and you're not always satisfied with the parts that you're getting. Well, the Origin One is really well positioned to solve these problems, and I wanted to show you some of the parts we have here. This is the textured cylinder, and you can see it's got a really, really high resolution finish with really fine details and a variety of different textures. Now that's just one material. We also have the famous hammer in the 3172 material. Now this has a really high impact strength, is very durable, and can be used in a lot of different plastic components. Now I also wanted to point out the difference between a typical FDM part and an origin part. Now you can see here the sizes are different, this is bigger, but the surface finish on these parts is night and day. The origin one has a very, very smooth finish and the FDM one has that typical layer line look to it. Here's an example of the versatility of this machine. I have two parts from the same part file in two different materials that both came off of our origin. This one is in the 3172 high impact strong material and this one is in the elastomer IND402. As you can see there's a huge range of applications for this machine so if you're having trouble sourcing components plastic or metal you should really consider using 3D printing. Reach out to us and we can have a discussion on what origin material would be a best fit for your application.